born premature. Tiny East Texans struggling to survive have been given a new lease on life with the opening of Mother Francis neonatal intensive care unit. But even in East Texas, some of these tiny lives face an even steeper uphill battle when their mothers are addicted to drugs. Barbara Keen reports on modern medicine's efforts at getting both mother and child drug free. This is a KETK special report. Quiet time at Mother Francis' new neonatal intensive care, or as some would call it, the calm before the storm. Things here can go from relative quiet to, oh my goodness, where did all the kids come from in a hurry? We could go from 9 to 18 um, at any one time. Dr. Nancy Pusser treats the tiniest of East Texans. An uphill battle with what ironically would be called a healthy premature baby to tiny lives. Some just 28 weeks old fighting for survival and the ravaging effects of a drug-addicted mother. We have a scoring system that we use uh, based on their behavior, whether it's uh, being tremulous or jittery, um, whether they have a low, high-pitched cry, whether they're really irritable, whether they have vomiting, diarrhea, they can run fever, or they can get abdominal cramping. And um, a lot of that just depends on what, what medications the mother uh, or the baby was exposed to in utero. Buster says drug-addicted mothers often are pulled from all sides in getting treatment for their child and their addiction. When you look at the social ramifications of being forthright and honest, they, they may be that your baby could be taken away from you. In a down economy, Pusser says doctors these days are seeing less of cocaine or heroin addicted mothers and children and more of a combination of prescription drugs. And these young, tiny addicts' mothers come from all walks of life. You can have a mom that says, you know, I was taking Vicodin for my back pain and I'm just stunned that my baby's addicted to narcotics. Tiny bodies suffering from withdrawal from the drugs are treated on a plan developed in Australia and Canada. So if the mom was on methadone or some kind of high-dose high narcotic Oxycontin, what we'll do is we'll give them the baby small doses of morphine in a medical setting that allow us to titrate that and give the baby a medical detox over time. Doctors remind us premature infants already are forced to swim upstream and getting a drug-addicted mother and child clean doesn't end when these tiny addicts are given a clean bill of health in neonatal ICU. We want families that can take care of babies that aren't also impaired themselves where they are going home with the baby that not only they can't take care of themselves, they also can't take care of a baby that needs 24-hour care. Bob Brickeen, KETKNBC.com.